Hey, it's uh, Chris here today from Huckle and Equipment. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be talking about lawnmowers and zero turns and why you would choose one over the other. Uh, so let's jump right to it. When talking about comparing zero turns and lawn mowers to each other, there's always going to be positive and negatives to the units. Uh, starting with some of the positives on a lawn mower, uh, some of the three main ones are uh, they're simple. They haven't really changed much in 30, 40, 50 years. You know, pretty much since they're invented. You know, four wheels, transmission, engine, and a steering wheel, um, and that gets you A to B and cuts the grass in between. You know, there's not a whole lot going on there. Whether it's first time on it, hundredth time, thousandth time, you're gonna you're gonna look like an expert pretty quick. They're easy to use, and one of the things that makes them easy to use is the transmission, right? Uh, most of the ones you're gonna see out there are hydrostatic transmission. Kubota is certainly in that ballpark. They do not have any other transmission to offer but you will still see some gear drives out there especially some of the older ones a few less moving parts and they're simple uh, and that's what we love to hear you know it's great having somebody come in you know I've been using you know a Cub Cadet that Kubota John Deere Aaron's uh, for 20 30 years it's still functioning but it's getting a little bit tired you know the mower deck is pretty much wore out but that engine uh, you know whether it's Kohler or Kawasaki Briggs and Stratton is still ticking away so whenever you start dealing with uh, lawnmowers they're gonna be cheaper by and large than a zero turn so reasons for that is just because they're they're simpler. Uh, you know, that's what we started with as a pro is they're simple, uh, easy to use, and you're gonna hop on and enjoy it for many years. So um, so some of the cons to a lawnmower, there's not too many. The biggest one that you can't avoid is that it's mostly pretty well 100% used for residential use. And there's contributing factors to that, and the biggest contributing factor to that for the residential use is speed. Uh, whenever you get up into, uh, into zero turns, obviously the, the speed picks up, and you're able to get more done in a day uh, whenever you're charging by the hour or by the job that's what you're counting on. And that's the limit to a lawnmower is it is, it has that limit, um, you know, whether it come down to the engine size or the mower deck size. Uh, at the end of the day, it's still not gonna be as quick as what a zero turn is. You know, you're gonna come up to those trees with the maneuverability, uh, zero turn's gonna go right around it. That lawnmower is still gonna have to do two or three turns to get around any anything in your way. So that's one thing. But on the plus side of that, whenever we're talking about speed and maneuverability is it's comfortable. Lots of people like to just cut that one acre of grass have a beer or two um, and enjoy themselves. You know, you're just going just fast enough to, uh, and creating just enough emissions that those bugs, uh, whether it be black flies or mosquitoes, can't catch up to you and you're, you're quite comfortable enjoying yourself focusing on cutting that grass. Uh, not so much whenever you get up into the zero turns, uh, you know, there, there are two hands and you're focused on what you're doing. So, so that's some of the pros and cons to thinking about lawnmowers. Now let's skip over and talk about some zero turns. So some of the positives whenever you're talking about uh, zero turns, and there are a number of them, but is maneuverability. Uh, you know, we touched upon it whenever we're comparing to a lawnmower. Come up to a tree, you're just going to be one spin and gone. You know, whenever you're doing residential commercial work uh, and you're looking to get as much done as possible in a day, zero turn is going to get it done. The speed wise, you know, they go up to, you know, this Z400 that's beside me goes up to 10 miles an hour, which is pretty well twice the top speed of a T-Series. It's going to get you done um, that much quicker. And whenever you're talking about zero turns, the industry by far and wide is going with zero turns. You just have to look behind me. Uh, with Kubota, there's a number of selections, whether it's the Z200s, 400s, 700s, and so on. There is a number of selections, whereas if you're looking for a lawnmower, there is one series to look at, and that's the T series. So, you know, and that's, you can say, well, that's yeah, pretty short looking at just the Kubota, but by and large, that's where the industry is going. You know, uh, we outsell zero turns about four or five to one um, compared to a lawnmower. And that, you'll see it, whether it be the John Deere's or Cub Cadets and stuff, is that's where the industry is going. And that's just because most people want to get done quicker. Uh, you know, but on the flip side, there is some negatives to a zero turn. Um, one of the biggest one is terrain. You really have to know what your zero turn is going to do. Uh, you know, if you get into hilly ground, it's not, may not be able to do it. You're going to say, well, how big is that hill? How steep does that have to be? It's hard to know. Uh, it really comes down to whether it's able to do it, and the best way to do that is to demo it. Uh, you know, if one zero turn will go up, but any zero turn will go up that hill or down it. I, but I have done lots of demos where you're in for a wild ride, whether it's you're popping wheelies and looking up the sky real quick, because uh, it won't climb up that uh, steep embankment, or on the flip side of that is you're going down and it just breaks loose because there is no brake on them. So uh, it just breaks loose and you're in for a wild ride down to the bottom of that hill. You know, it's going to tell you in the operator's manual, you know, it's such, such degrees and that's going to get you done. And nobody's going out and measuring their hill. So 
basically the easiest way is to take a zero turn and try it out and make sure that it'll do it uh, for a little bit of a safety spiel on that. So some of the other negatives you're going to run into is the operation of it. Not that it is a negative once you get going, but I've seen enough damage on ones going out for just the first few hours. You just want to take it out in a nice open spot, be it down at idle, try it out, because it is completely different than anything else you more than likely have ever operated. If you do end up with a zero turn, be mindful of that. Take it out, practice, see if it goes up and down that hill. Try not to hit things. Uh, you know, I've seen them hit trees, posts, trucks, houses, tractors. Uh, I've seen them end up in water, out on roads. Uh, there is a number of things that can go wrong with a zero turn. So by, by, and, large, by and large, please practice uh, after you get one. Uh, Cause it's not as simple as you think. And like I mentioned before with the lawnmower, uh, you, even though it has a, uh, a cup holder with it, you're, you're not you're not going to be taking a drink while you're out there, uh, you know. So if you if you do enjoy that, uh, if you do have that one cold one while you're out there, it's uh, the lawn. The zero turn is not for you. It is a lawnmower. Whenever you're comparing apples to apples, a uh, zero turn is going to be more money than a lawnmower. So, you no, know, you're going to say, oh, well, you can have it to these two sitting beside each other. You know, be a T series and a Z400. There's vastly differences on this, but whenever you get down to apples and apples, comparing the same mower deck sizes and everything, you're always going to see that the zero turn will be a few hundred dollars more than a comparable lawnmower. So, so that's yeah, kind of brings us to the end of talking about uh, the pros and cons of a zero turn. So we're going to wrap up this video. Uh, so that brings us to the end of today's video. So. So, you know, whenever you go to your local dealership, you may have a few uh, ideas of what you're looking for, and hopefully we were able to bring some of the key differences between a lawn mower and a zero turn. Um, so, you know, if you're looking for a big fancy diesel Kubota like this or a T-Series, you'll have some, some key differences there to help you out. Uh, and if you enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, please leave them down below. Thank you.